I'm in this thing. I'm in this thing for real. So there's one Lord, one faith. Then the scripture tells us there's one baptism. Not many baptisms, but one baptism. But when we look at the scripture, for some they feel like it's a contradiction. They feel like it's many baptisms and many ways of baptism. Because in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, Jesus says to them, Go ye therefore into all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son. Oh, I'm going to teach it right here until you get it. The Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He says, teach them to observe all this. Because see, the reason why I keep teaching and preaching, because if you keep, I keep feeding you, eventually you'll get a revelation. See, if you ever get a revelation, you'll never be the same. Well, people that say, I got it, but they don't change. You didn't know you don't have a change. Because if you ever look at, if you ever get a revelation of God, you can never look at him the same way. Can anybody testify once you receive the Holy Ghost, you are never the same? Green was not green until you got the Holy Ghost. You see green. Come on, you thought you loved people, but until you get the Holy Ghost on the inside of you, you can really love folk, right? You can love folk that hate your guts when you get the Holy Ghost on the inside. Go ahead. When they first, when they first, when the opening of the church on the day of Pentecost in AD 33 takes place, Peter the apostle got up, the one who had denied Christ, now stands up and preaches Christ. In the whole chapter, once the people got filled with the Holy Ghost, once he himself got filled with the Spirit of God, and when he got ready to baptize, he says, repair, he says, when they said, Lord, Lord, who, what should we do? We see what God is doing with you. What should we do? Peter said unto them, repent. First of all, repent. If you don't repent, baptism is nothing. You know how they say you go down a, a dry devil or wake up or come up a wet one? Yeah, if you don't repent. Because repent says, no, I can't, I don't even come back up like I did, like I went down because I'm dead. Hallelujah. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For this promise is unto you and to your children, them that are fall as many as the Lord God shall call. Well, then what is the proper, what is the proper way of baptism then? What is that? Because from the offset, it sounds contradictory. Because in Matthew 28 and 19, uh, he said, Jesus says, baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Then in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, Peter says, baptize in Jesus' name. So then we look at both sides and says, well, we better do what Jesus said because I'd rather go with Jesus than Peter. But then the problem with that when we're going to execute the text is if you start taking away from the word of God on one end, then after a while, none of it keeps validity. So then that must come an understanding. Either it's a confirmation or it's a contradiction. Because if you can't take the verse out, because if you take the verse out, there's a hole in the word. And God's word is complete and whole. So it's either a confirmation or a contradiction. This is what we have to know. Jesus says, baptize in the name of the Father, Son. I got to get y'all on Sunday because y'all don't come to Bible study. He says, baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And then in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, Peter says, baptize in Jesus' name. Hold on, Peter. Did you miss what Jesus said? Listen, Peter. Jesus said, baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And you just said, baptize in Jesus' name. Is there a contradiction? No. There's a confirmation. Why? Look what Jesus said. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. He said, go ye therefore into all nations. I'm preaching one way, saints. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Now when you look in that verse in Matthew 28, 19, it says baptize them in the what? Name. Now I want to ask you a question. Is name singular or is name plural? Now I'm not making up nothing. Take it to your theology teacher. Name is singular. So that means how many names 
is it mentioned for Matthew 28 and 19? But I got to ask you then, what is that name? Oh my God. Is that called? Well, somebody said, no, Father is the name. So, Father is not a name. Father is who he is. Son is who he is. Holy Ghost is who he is. If you go sign a check, you can go sign a check. Father, you got to sign your name. It's not official until you got the name. Oh. Oh, God, I man. Guess what? <laughs> Let me come down here. I am not scared of I'm going to preach it. Now. I'm going to preach Jesus and him crucified. I'm going to preach healing in his name. I'm going to preach deliverance in his name. And when I get the baptism, I won't stop. I'm not worried about being popular. I'm not worried about being liked. How many, I'm willing to be persecuted for his name's sake. So the scripture says, it baptized, Jesus is baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And Peter gets up and baptizes in Jesus' name. Why? Because Jesus is the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He said, how can you say Jesus is the name of the Father? Isaiah says, for his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father. It's one, it's, it's one thing if you don't know the word, but it's another thing to hear the word and to rebel against it. Because of your tradition. Because this is the way I've always been taught. That's one way. It's time for us to lift up the one way of God. It's, it's time for us to teach and hold fast to the faith. There's only one way. And Jesus is that way. I don't know what you're searching for. I don't know if you're searching for peace, but there's no peace like the peace you don't find in Jesus. You may be found, you may look, be looking for love, and you are sleeping around and laying down with different people looking for love. But there's only one way to true love, and that's in Jesus. You may be looking for deliverance from some habits, and you may be trying a 12 step program, a 5 or 7 step program, and there's nothing wrong. If, if that's what you do, but you need to realize true deliverance Amen. is in Jesus. You may even be here today and say, I'm going to wait till I get myself together before I get in church. But it's looking for salvation. But you cannot save yourself. Amen. The only true way to salvation is through Jesus. Jesus is all and in all. He's the one we sing about. He's the one we worship. He is the one way. Don't look for another. You don't have to try other religions. Jesus is the way to the Father. No man can come to the Father except through Jesus Christ.